With all the promises that OnePlus made last November, we now have a fully working build for the Marshmallow ROM for the OnePlus 2. OnePlus decided to release it on the last day of the quarter 1 of 2016 and while they take it as a joke, users such as me haven't been totally happy with the delayed software updates. Anyways, this is Adnan from TechnoDNA and this is a quick look on what's new and what has evolved with the Oxygen OS 3.0 build for the OnePlus 2. First and foremost, this update brings the sweetness of Android Marshmallow to the OnePlus 2. It also brings about in some nifty little tweaks to improvise performance and battery life. Little features like individual app permissions have helped Marshmallow to be the new favorite of the crowd. Hopping into the About Phone menu, you will notice that the security patch level has changed to April 1st of 2016 and the Android version has changed to 6.0.1, which is Android Marshmallow. The major overhaul might very well be with the camera UI. OnePlus claims that this new UI will help in better shooting and a better experience. You can slide up or down to switch between video and photo modes and there are quick shortcuts for HDR and flash. The UI has been redesigned such that you no longer need to go all the way into the settings to change the aspect ratio and optimize the grid. The new wallpaper picker allows you to seamlessly select different wallpapers and also allows you to set them as your home screen and lock screen wallpapers. Pretty sweet! The shelf UX has also been improvised where you no longer have to tap on the edit button. This long pressing the boards will allow easy customization. According to OnePlus, the 3.0 version of Oxygen OS performed about 50% better than the previous versions and I too have seen less frame drops and a better overall speed in the UI. The fingerprint scanner now recognizes the fingerprints a lot faster now, about 45% faster according to their claims. I found it to be more reliable a lot faster than before so props to OnePlus for that. The biggest little changes we've seen are actually based inside of the settings application. Just like you could do in stock Marshmallow, the old app permissions are gone and the native ones are here. Finally, you can customize a little bit of the alert slider functionality. That is something we've been looking forward uh, within all these updates. Last but not the least, the order in the settings application has been changed a little bit but to improvise readability and it feels a lot more cleaner now. That were all the new updates and what was essentially new with the Oxygen OS 3.0 update for the OnePlus 2. Obviously, you cannot expect the very first build to run without any flaws and OnePlus was honest enough to lay out some ground rules based upon some bugs. The first one being that your fingerprints will not be restored while updating your data and you'll have to re-register them once again. Not anything hard or not that I'm complaining since it doesn't even take a few seconds. Secondly, the SOAP testers have found there to be some Wi-Fi speed issues. I have not been experiencing it in my one day of usage, but be aware of the bugs. The biggest flaws with this version is that Max audio doesn't work anymore. Rather, it isn't even there. Since the speaker of the OnePlus 2 is so tiny, we needed the equalizers to tweak the best out of them. Let's just hope that they'll come back in a quick OTA update. Some more bugs include glitches with the shelf UX when dirty flashing, and some applications not working since they are not designed for Android Marshmallow. All in all, it is worth taking a risk and flashing the zip file through our stock recovery. And since it doesn't even wipe any data, it is well worth it. I found battery life to be good as always and the camera quality seems a lot better now. Well guys, that's been it for a quick look on the merits and liabilities of the new Oxygen OS 3.0 for the OnePlus 2. If you have any queries, hit me down in the comment section below and stay tuned for more crispy content as such.